Whenever there was any danger in the forest, Robin let everyone know about it with one of his special arrows. When Jenny heard the warning, she tried to finish what she was doing before taking shelter. What she didn't know was, the danger Robin was warning against was right behind her. Ah, yes. You have done well. I am very pleased. It was nothing at all, Baron. I am always at your service, ready to please in any way I can. Well, my dear Baron, let's take a look at your new toy, shall we? That should be interesting. <laughs> you were too hasty, my fat friend. It is not a plate of cakes, but a dangerous beast. Am I right, Boomy? Absolutely right, sir. In fact, no one could be right, sir. Excellent. It'll be the perfect playmate for those little thugs skulking around in the forest. Huh? We won't have to worry what to feed him. <laughs> very funny, Baron. Very funny indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Our little friends will never know what hit them. Where are you going? Hey, Robin, what's the matter? Marion's just gone rushing out all on her own again. She always goes out at this time to exercise. I guess so, but she was acting kind of weird. I'll go after her, see if she's okay. Well, if it makes you feel better. What is it, Will? Is there anything the matter with Robin? I don't think so. Leastways, nothing we should worry about. They must be around here somewhere. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Yeah! Hey, come, come on! Charge! charge. Let's go! Come on! Please don't hurt me. I have nothing of value, honestly. Let me be the judge of that. Now, if you want to keep your head and your shoulders, I keep quiet. Understand, you little worm? Come on! Unload that truck! Hey. Ah, come on! Yeah. Well, now, I wonder what glorious knickknacks I've won for us today. <laughs> Just one more. Now, because I'm chief, I get to have first pick. of a chance, I wouldn't want to be in their shoes facing a terrible thing like that. I don't like being this close. It's the kind of thing will give you nightmares, don't you think? Marion! Marion! Huh? There must be someone home. Hey, little John, have you seen Marion and... Oh, 
I've seen that beast before somewhere, a long time ago, when I was a child, maybe. But what is it doing in the forest, and how did it come to be here? Well, it doesn't seem to have followed me. Hey! Hey, little John! What? Hey, little John! Wake up! You! Huh? Robin! What's up? You guys eating some bad mushrooms again? It's not what we ate. It's what nearly ate us. A beast with huge teeth and a raw that was like... I saw it. The creature's called a lion. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Well, the lion's not native to these parts. It must have been brought here by somebody. Oh, somebody brought it here, all right. We attacked a carriage earlier today. A carriage? Uh-huh. The only thing it was carrying was a huge chest, and when we took that down and opened it up... Ah! Nearly ate me alive. Let's go home. I'd be careful if I were you. The lion's in your hideout. Well, there's definitely something going on here that I don't understand. I think I better warn the others. sword. It's the only way I'll ever get a chance at getting back at Alwyn. And get back at him, I will. Yeah! Ha! Oh, that sounds like one of Robin's warning arrows. I wonder what happened. Okay, now, Jenny? Oh, yes, yes, I think so, Robin. Huh? I bet that brute chased you off the cliff. But, Robin, it wasn't like that. What do you mean? It must have crept up behind me without me knowing. It never even tried to attack me, but I still got scared. Then when I fell in the
from the river, the lion followed me downstream. He could see I was in trouble. So he started roaring for help. That's amazing. It worked, because you came straight away. If it weren't for him, I might have drowned. Did you hear that? All when so-called fierce beast made to look like a kitten by a little girl. Exactly. They said it would eat those kids, not play with them. Someone sold the Baron a fake, huh? Yeah. I don't understand it. Why would the line help Jenny like that? I know, it's unbelievable. I'm telling the truth. The lion is king of the forest and is merciful to good little girls like me. Come on, Jenny. You should get some rest now. Is Marion not back yet? Mm-mm. Come on, let's go find her. This lion thing seems kind of strange. I know. But I bet you I know who's at the bottom of it. Alwyn. You conniving little cheat! <laughs> My men here tell me your lion is as fierce as a hedgehog! That's not true. This beast has already killed two men and they were both lion tamers. Ha ha ha! Come on, you cur! Up, lion! Up! <laughs> Help me! Help! Just the thought of it makes me shiver. You do a lot more than shiver when I'm through with you, you dog. Nobody cheats me, do you hear? I didn't cheat you. I didn't, I swear I didn't. This is your last chance, you fool. Either your lion dines on Robin, or I'll make sure he dines on you. I won't let you down. Don't let him leave the forest alive. Sir! <laughs> I have to find the courage to tackle anything. Come on now, don't get scared. Come on! <laughs> get up, lion, or I'll give you the whip! A tree will. Robin and the lion stood facing each other. The lion began moving in slowly, ready to jump the moment he got the chance. Robin knew he had only one shot. If he missed it, it would be his last. Jenny, keep away! No, Robin! I can't let you do it! Are you crazy? It's okay. Don't worry. I'm your friend. I know that you're the king of the forest. The most powerful beast that there is. Hey! Aren't you still my friend? Jenny, no! Hey, Jenny! Be careful! 
She's got huh? it eating out of her hand. Now you've seen it with your own eyes, explain it to me. Yeah, explain it. I only wish I could. <laughs> Milva, I don't believe it. Milva, of course that would explain everything. <laughs> what the? Who are you? This lion. He's mine. His name is Blackie. You're a lion? Milva. My own Milva. <laughs> My name's not Milva. It's Jenny. I'm sorry. It's just that you look so much like my late daughter Milva. Oh. Well, please go on. When Blackie was only a cub, he and Milva would play games together. Milva loved Blackie so much, she was his best friend. More than that, they grew up together. They were like brother and sister, inseparable in everything they did. Then my daughter died of a sudden and terrible illness. Blackie never got over her death. He became more violent and aggressive. He had to be locked up. I got him professional tamers thinking that might help, but it just made him worse than ever. It's only now I realize I was making him more and more vicious by showing him violence instead of the love he needed. What are we waiting here for? Let's attack him now! All right, you men, are you ready to fight? Yeah! Uh. <gasps> I'm frightened! You were brave to defend this girl from those soldiers. Your shoulder, it's wounded. It's nothing. It's just a scratch. Here. Ah, uh, I feel so ashamed. I thought you were all criminals. I let Alwyn trick me. It just had to be Alwyn. That man is an animal. Oh, 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 oh. Another plan up in smoke. I'm surrounded by idiots. They really caught you lion down on the job this time. <laughs> How dare you laugh at me, you jug-eared little troll. Huh? What? Big nose? Ah, choo! Germ-ridden bishop. I will look after Blackie now until he is able to fend for himself. Then I will release him into the wild. Here you go, Blackie. Thank you for all of your help. We all owe you a lot.
Danny okay? How low can Alwyn get, using a poor dumb animal like that? So, Blackie left with his owner to start a new life. And though Jenny was upset, she'd get over it. She knew that no matter how friendly Blackie was, he was still a wild animal and would have to be returned to his homeland. Besides, the forest was full of creatures she hadn't even met yet. In their next adventure, we see our friends tackling the ghostly side of life in the forest. By the light of a full moon, they try to find the ghost of the Count of Mount Rose. They will face an enemy they can't see or touch, just shadows in the night or lights flickering. It'll be a journey into fear, into darkness, into the unknown.